Grammy and Juno award-winning R&B queen Melanie Fiona. She's Canadian and she's had a lot of hits, but we haven't heard about new music from her in like a decade. Melanie, what have you been up to? Oh my gosh, I've been making a life, not just a living. Can you imagine? I have been experiencing the beautiful journey of what life is to be a creative and a human being and a mother and a wife. And, you know, really, really re-strategizing and, and just redesigning my approach to my art and my music and gaining life experiences and things to write about and feel inspired about and, you know, protecting my mental health. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of very important things. I haven't just been hiding from the people. And I really haven't been hiding because I'm doing podcasting and I'm doing all these other things. I'm still doing shows. But, you know, really refocusing how I wanted to enter this journey, I think, of putting out new music and artistry. And, and I feel so blessed to be doing it. The first song, Say Yes, very soulful, vulnerable. And this was recorded 100% live? Yes, 100% live. I want to give flowers to the producers Ray Harris and Thundercat on bass, Charlie Burrell on guitar, Chris Dave on drums, incredible artist, Sir, who's a friend of mine and is a co-writer with me on this song. And we were in a room one night just jamming, just in the room, letting musicians talk without words and letting them just go. And this song is actually a seven-minute song. What we release is actually the short version. We will release the longer version because it's just a total jam session. And such a rare thing, I think, right now in music, people are so afraid sometimes to stick with live instruments. But this song is so special, and it required the story of vulnerability, it required the rawness of live musicianship, and, and, and I wanted it to say that. And so I'm so proud to say yes. It's totally what I call my manifestation prayer, because I wrote it about the time when my husband, my now husband, and I were dating and, you know, just the space where you have to be willing to say yes, to get to whatever is waiting on the other side of fear. Love, life, your dreams. And that's what I kind of love that this song represents, not just for me personally, but I think for anyone who listens to it. So you wrote this song quite a while ago. How long have you and your husband been married? My husband and I have officially been married now for, it's going on four years, but we've been together for almost 12 years. Oh, wow. And, um, yeah, so, you know, the, the beautiful thing about it, love, is, it's inspiring and it's timeless. And, you know, being able to draw on those experiences from so long ago to write these songs is, is just, you know, is, is just a testament, I think, to the journey of, of love, truly, and how long and how delicate and how fragile it can be and, and how deep it can be. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of these songs. There's a lot of vulnerability, and I, even when I think back to when I was in the, at that time in that relationship, at that time, I was definitely in a space where I had done a lot of self-work and I had been single for, you know, it was going on almost two years and, and I was definitely in a space of, I'm going to be so truthful about the way I feel about my life and who's in it. And I'm not going to be scared to express that. I'm not going to be worried about what's going on on the other side. How I feel is how I feel. And I lose nothing by being transparent. I lose nothing by by being my authentic and honest self and vulnerable self, you know, like, sure, I might get hurt, but I've been hurt before. I'll get over it, but I won't gain anything by holding back how I feel. And so, you know, I, I, I even share the story all the time. I, I first told my, my husband now, I told him I loved him first and everybody's like, what? You said what? No. How much have I did love him? And I knew that he loved me. And like, it wasn't a, a situation where it was this unrequited love. We were, very much enjoyed one another, but I didn't feel uh, apprehensive about expressing openly that like, like, Hey, I'm falling in love with you. I love you. Like this time that we've been spending together, I really cherish and I'm excited to see where this could go. And you, and I even said it, I was like, you don't have to say it to me because I'm saying it to you. This is like, this is very much about me expressing myself to you and you can do with it what you want. And I think that that's the thing that people in general don't give themselves enough permission to do Yeah, is, to be honest and just understand that like the other person on the other side, if they take advantage of that, if they disrespect that, if they mishandle that, that's on them. Yep. That's not on you. If you allow them to do it to you multiple times, then yes, it's mm -hmm. on you because you're, <laughs> you're not setting a boundary for yourself. But to come with heart in hand, I think is the only way we truly get to the places we need to get to. Um, and it either works or it doesn't. And then when it doesn't, you move on. But when it does, you write songs about it. <laughs>
<laughs> so do you have a lot of these kind of songs in the bank and it, like it it's still it takes a lot of guts to release your feelings out into the public like that especially just the way yeah. the internet is these days you know it's yes I'm no stranger to this because you know even at the beginning of my career the songs that brought me the most success were the songs that were so vulnerable and about heartbreak and you know not your best moments and how vulnerable you can feel in love and those are the songs that went number one or got the Grammy nominations or even won the Grammys like the ones with CeeLo Green I've never been afraid of being vulnerable when it comes to my emotions. Fun fact, I'm a cancer astrologically, and I'm extremely emotional for the people who are out there who love astrology like I do. Um, I, I just love, I love my emotions. I know that, you know, sometimes we, we can feel like our emotions can be a hindrance, but they are such a compass for me in my life. They're the co-writer to all my thoughts, and, and when I have things that I want to say and get out, I really allow myself to feel deeply what it is I'm going and even go deeper than that to tell a great story. So, you know, it's, it's something that I, I, I'm totally comfortable with. And even now, like these songs, even like I Choose You, I wanted to create a song that people could send to their loved ones. I wanted to create a song that people could wear, play at their wedding. You know, that these words yeah. came from my vows at my wedding. And so this is my truth. You know, this is, this is who I am. It's not a secret. I don't live in the shadows of my personal life and my professional life. People see it. It's online. People are inspired by it. People have celebrated it. People have honored it and showcased it. And, and it's, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of the life that I, I, I have and the person that I am. And I know that life, life is fragile. And so I don't ever want to hold back on how I feel and what my truth is. So that's where these songs come from. That's why I say yes is the name of the EP. That's why I say yes is what I want people to remember. This is the first time they're discovering me. If this is, um, you know, they're been with me on the journey. I want them to know that this is the mantra and the affirmation for my life and for what I want people to find in their lives as well. Oh, that's cool. So the EP comes out 2025. Do we know what month? We're looking at the top. We're looking at quarter one, like within the first oh. few months of the year. Yeah, these songs are done. They're ready to go. And they're really fun. There's just like it's something different for every kind of mood, something to dance to, something to, you know, sing to, to have a glass of wine to, make love to. Like I'm very, I'm very much trying to just create music that I want to hear. I'm, that music that just comes authentically. I'm not chasing any version of myself. I'm not chasing, you know, any sort of format for where it lives. Mm -hmm. I just know that the people who will who will resonate with it will find it, and and that's who I'm making it for. So, well, even these yeah. two songs are very different. Like I choose you has that island feel to it. The words are very romantic and everything, but just listening to the background, I was feeling sunshine. Yes, exactly. And so you know, say yes is is very moody, dark. You know, mm -hmm. gems like very like and it, you know we just recently released the video the lights are red it's very moody um and then i choose you feels like yeah it feels like sunshine it feels like movement it feels like dancing and like i said it's just the sentiments are the same i think the, the vibe i think the intention is what people feel but sonically things can take you in different places i have another song on the project called do that which is so different it's very bass heavy driven it's not like a very big vocal performance song it's really like a vibe something really cool to like ride in the car to i have another song on there that feels very retro melanie fiona very like you know retro soul um for my first album the bridge to yeah. you know for the fans that love that version of me where i'm singing feels like young michael jackson young motown so you know like i said i wanted to create songs that i think are a reflection of who i am and and what i want to hear and what i you know having a song to go to when i'm in a particular mood and so you've toured with artists like Kanye West, Alicia Keys, Mary J. Blige, and is there a tour coming with this EP? Yeah, that's the plan. I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, after releasing this EP, doing a full-length project as well to follow. And, um, you know, definitely touring. I mean, I'm always still doing spot dates around. I just did like a little mini tour over the summer. But definitely getting back into markets with this music that I haven't been to in a really long time, or maybe I never have been, especially in Canada. There's so many markets that I haven't been to in Canada. So, you know, it, it's almost like this new music is bringing into these markets for the first time, and then also allowing me to perform my catalog that people have never gotten to see, like the Give It To Me Rights and Change the Record and Gone and Never Coming Back, these songs that were, you know, supported in Canada. 
and being able to perform those live. So I'm definitely looking forward to hitting the road in 2025. And what about collaborations? Like you've collaborated with people like John Legend, Nas, CeeLo Green, like you mentioned. Is there any collaborations on this album or this um, EP? No, as of right now, no. But there's a couple that I'm uh, I'm kind of uh, in the process of, of, of figuring out. And so I won't say that there won't be collaborations. Okay. Um, I won't say there won't be, but if there is, then surprise. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm, uh, I'm still finalizing everything, and I'm just really, again, I'm just in a space of allowing people that, that I have done some really great collaborations in this season musically, so we'll see if those end up making the project. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear the whole thing coming out in 2025. And we've got the two tracks, Say Yes and I Choose You, already off it. So make sure everybody listen to that. You can get it anywhere. You get your music. And Melanie Fiona, she's back. And it was awesome talking to you today. Likewise. Thank you, Dana.